Hey there everybody, thanks for stopping by to check out our new video inventory update. We just got a beautiful saltwater shipment in uh, from all around the world. Here we've got a beautiful coral beauty angel. Uh, good community fish is a dwarf angel. They are out, he's about uh, two and a half, three inches. Nice size on this guy, does great in a community tank and uh, normally okay in a reef tank as well. In this tank we've got a real nice medium sized uh, raccoon butterfly hiding out there underneath the coral. Not a coral safe fish, these guys will eat nip at polyps and other uh, uh, corals. And then behind him is a flame angel, good size in that guy, he's about three and a half, four inches. Another uh, dwarf angel does well in a community or a reef tank. Um, dwarf angels though you want to keep singly unless you had a really big tank or you had them at the same time. If you mix more than one variety sometimes they can be a little bit nasty to each other. And also in this tank hiding out, and I don't think he's going to want to come out and say hello, but we do have a blue spotted jawfish, very cool fish. Um, they like to hide out in, under the rocks and such. Uh, they come out and uh, spit rocks out, very cool fish, you can look them up. Um, very unique, hard to find, not something you see very often. If there's anything you see here that you like, too, give us a call, 414-546-2201. We'll be happy to put on hold for you for 24 hours. And uh, be sure to stop by for our annual customer appreciation sale, May 19th and 20th. Um, all the salt water will be 40% off. Fresh water is uh, two for one. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have giveaways, prizes, all kinds of great stuff. You don't want to miss it. Here we got another nice flame angel and a powder blue tang. Uh, medium sized powder blue tang. He's about four, five, four and a half inches. Great community fish, excellent algae grazer, and does well in a reef tank as well. You've got a real nice size, medium large uh, nasal tang. This guy's probably about six, seven inches. Great uh, community fish, another uh, grazer. They will do well in a community tank, even with larger um, aggressive fish. Very uh, docile, not a causing a problem for anybody. And over here, we've got a couple nice uh, bulletin lionfish. These guys are predatory, so you want to keep them with stuff that can't fit in their mouth, and they're also venomous, so you got to be a little bit careful with that. And hiding out in the back there, you can just see him, is a real nice uh, Hawaiian green bird wrasse. He's about six, seven inches. Very cool fish. Um, when they get acclimated, they will be all over the cruising around, all around the tank. And uh, also, uh, semi-aggressive. You don't want to put them with anything real small. Um, and they'll do okay in a more aggressive tank. Here we've got a very cool lay trigger. These are also from Hawaii. Uh, one you don't see very often. Uh, cool fish, semi-predatory, a little bit aggressive. You want to be a little bit careful what you put them with. Um, they will eat small crabs, hermits, crustaceans, things like that, so use a little bit of care with what you're putting with. And here we've got a nice large powder brown tank. Uh, he's about five inches. Nice fish. It's very similar to the powder blue, uh, temperament-wise. Will do well in a community tank and a reef tank as well. Up here we got some nice sergeant major damsels, good starter fish. And these guys look, do get a little bit bigger. They get about uh, four inches when they're full grown. Down here we've got some real nice Fiji blue devil damsels, another great starter fish, does well in uh, reef tanks or community tanks, and uh, will do great with, uh, with pretty much any fish that can't fit them in their mouth. Over here we've got nice uh, banner fish, black and white heniochus butterflies, these guys are another great uh, grazing fish, uh, not recommended for a reef tank because again they will eat corals, polyps, things like that, anemones. Um, they do well in schools. We've got three of them in now. They look great. They're about uh, three inches body size. And hanging out under the rock back there is a coal tang, yellow white coal tang. Another excellent uh, grazer. Does great in a reef tank. they got a bristle teeth, so they really do a good job just getting algae and stuff off the rocks. Oh, and there's a blue jawfish sticking his head out right there. we got two of them in. You can see him. He's looking right at the camera. Very, very cool fish. Um, and uh, great personalities on him. And just see, let's see if we can get some color on him. Yeah, you can't really see him, but he's being shy. Very cool though. We've got some black and gold chromis, excellent starter fish, do well in a community tank as well. Not aggressive. Uh, here we got bicolor angelfish, uh, another dwarf angel. We'll again be a little bit careful with other put them with other angels. And another nice uh, nasal tang in there. We've got another nice coral beauty and another one of those Hawaiian lay triggers. Very cool fish. Up here we've got some really nice neon velvet damsels. These guys are another great community fish, uh, good starter fish as well. And they get good size, about four inches when they're full grown, so they do well in uh, semi-aggressive tanks even if you got them when they're big enough. Another nice uh, raccoon butterfly here, coral beauty, and a coal tang, another coal tang hanging out underneath the rocks back there. And again, if you didn't see anything you like, give us a call, 414. 
We've got some spiny box porcupine puffers, spiny porcupine puffers here. Uh, these guys are predatory, so i got to keep them with stuff that can't fit in their mouth. And they will do well with other more aggressive fish. All over here we've got bluefin damsels, another uh, variety you don't see real, real often. These guys uh, also get a little bit bigger size, four inches or so when they're full grown. Not aggressive, do well in a, uh, in a community tank and they'll be okay with the more delicate stuff most of the time. And up here we've got a real nice panther grouper. Uh, smaller size than this guy, it's about three or four inches. Um, these guys also are predatory, so you got to be careful with what you put them with when they're, when they're uh, as they get bigger. They get about a foot long, they will eat whatever they can fit in their mouth. And in the inverts department, we've got some really beautiful feather dusters. These are monsters. Uh, as you can see, the nice good size in those guys do great in the reef tank. Um, Sally Lightfoot crabs, excellent grazers, algae control for uh, reef tanks. We've got about uh, six or eight of those guys came in. Um, in here, we've got some electric blue uh, hermit crabs and also electric oranges, which can't really see them coming out of the shell areas. You can see an orange one there. And over here, we've got some real nice Bangai cardinals. Uh, excellent community fish for the reef tank. They like to hang out in groups like that. And there's also some firefish. They're being shy hiding under the rock there, but there's some nice firefish gobies in here. I've got six of those in. Also a great fish to have all in the school. And here we got some mini maxi carpets, carpet anemones. Very cool. These guys are uh, do great in a reef tank. Um, you gotta be a little bit careful with the corals you put near them though, because they will uh, sting if they get too close. And over here we got some real nice six line wrasses. They've got about an inch and a half, and these are a reef safe wrasses. They do great in a reef tank and help control some of the unwanted pests you don't want in there. Uh, also got some nice yellow headed, wa uh, I mean, uh, yellow spotted watchman gobies. Another great uh, reef tank fish. And a nice selection of larger mandarin gobies. Also a great reef fish. Um, does well in an established tank as they primarily eat copepods, so they like to have a nice supply of that. And also got in here is we got another large uh, nasal tang, a real nice Hawaiian large nasal tang there. He's starting to get his streamers as you can see. And a blue dot stingray, very cool. And these guys will do well in larger tanks with lots of swimming room. Very cool fish. In the coral department, we've got some red and green trachophilia brains and a nice uh, mother acro there, as you can see. Uh, Goniopora, nice flower pot, green electric green flower pot. Uh, blueberry uh, Gregonian, very cool. Goes great in the reef tank as a filter feeder. As well as some nice Montipora digitata up on the top there, doing great little frags. All right, guys, thanks for checking it out. It all covers it. Have a great day. Be sure to stop by for the sale, May 19th and 20th. Thanks for checking it out.